first component we're going to test is the compressor. Step one is going to be gaining access to the circuit board and the compressor itself. Once we gain access to the compressor, we're going to want to locate the three pin Molex plug that sends power to the three windings of the compressor. The tests we're going to use for these are going to be the mega ohm test using a mega, and we're also going to be testing the winding resistance using a standard multimeter. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do the mega ohm test of the winding insulation. So what we're going to do is set our 500 volts mega ohm meter, 67 to 77, 75, and 89. What should it be? Dyken spec says it should be anything over 1,000 mega ohms for the insulation around the windings. So this compressor passed the test. This compa compressor passes the test. The next step we're going to do is we're going to test the windings themselves, and we're going to ohm them out to each other, and then we're going to ohm them out to ground. Okay. Now this is a three-phase motor. A DC three-phase motor's windings should all be the same resistance within 10%. One ohm. The next windings. One ohm. So all three windings pass. The resistance between each winding is exactly the same. That's perfect. Uh, the one last step in the event where you have uh, the compressor tripping a breaker, frying circuit boards and things like that, is we're going to want to test it to ground. Now this being a test unit, it's not going to be the most accurate thing. We don't have a, an earth ground set up to this, so it could end up with false readings. But what we would do is we would hook one end of the meter up to the ground screw, which is tied to the earth ground or the circuit panel, and then we would just go with the other lead to each of the windings. And if there is any continuity or resistance to ground, that compressor's windings has failed. So Mike, first of all, I wanted to thank you very much for your time today. This was very beneficial for us. Thank you very much. And if anyone's out working on a ductless unit uh, purchased from us here at United and you require some technical assistance, feel free to give us a call. And stay tuned because we will be having a lot more videos like this coming out in the near future.